Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Halloween Happy. If you are new here, my name is Sam. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me. Before we get started with the planner, if you guys are interested, I have some Halloween Happy sticker packs still available over in my Etsy shop with some other little goodies. So I'll link that below. And yes, I got my pumpkin cream cold brew. Let's go, it's the best thing ever. In today's video, I would need it to update my planner for the autumn season. This white planner is the one that I've currently been using, but this one is the one we're going to be transforming into my autumn planner. Both of these covers are from RSL. I've talked about that company before, hashtag not sponsored. So yeah, the white one I was using for like my winter, spring, carried it through the summer, and then I grabbed this one not too long ago. I shared it in an unboxing and now I'm ready to just give it all the vibes, you know what I mean? Hopefully this will give you some inspiration for your own planner. I have a few little odds and ends that I kind of am going to be pulling from my craft collection because I'm not really sure what I'm going to start with. I don't know the vibe, like I know the vibe, but I don't know the color palette. This planner was a little too brown. I was hoping it was more like tan or orange when I had purchased it, but that's not a big deal. So I'm going to be trying to compensate decorating these pockets and whatnot. These pockets are a little bit smaller than what I normally work with in my other planners. So that's going to be a challenge. Don't think I'll be able to pack it as much as I personally like. Picking some little things out to kind of see if I want to do like a black and white theme. If I want to add some silver, I got to pick out the color of orange, the tone of orange, because we all know there's so many different colors of orange. All of them are amazing, but I kind of like them to match whenever I'm doing a planner decorating layout. I kind of like the feel and the look of this ghost pattern paper, but I also want to just add some extra texture to it and kind of bring in a glitter element to it because you guys know I love glitter. It takes me a while to kind of figure out what I'm going to do. As you can see, I'm kind of putting different papers in, different patterns, different colors. I'm trying to do like every other pocket just so there's some kind of balance to it. I'm also going to ramble about some other things in between. Hope you guys don't mind. The other day, I was invited to a movie screen screening for The Nun 2 and it was so much fun. Invited us to a trolley ghost tour out in Boston so we went there and then we went to an IMAX to watch The Nun 2. They gave me like a little goodie bag. It was just such a good time and if you guys get a chance to see it, I recommend it. I think it's better than the first Nun. I've only seen that one once. Part two, I know that I will watch that a few times. Of course, you know, with the Conjuring universe, there's a lot of jump scares and in The Nun 2, there are so many. The movie is jammed packed with them and I just thought that The Nun, that Valak was so, so scary. I was kind of afraid of getting possessed. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Obviously, Thaisa, she's amazing, so it was great to see her on the screen again. Let me know if you guys are gonna watch it. It comes out this weekend or maybe last weekend, depending when I upload this video. Can we talk about another horror movie, please? Is there anyone that's gonna check out The New Exorcist coming out next month? The trailer literally scares me every single time. I have such high hopes that that movie is going to haunt me. It's going to give me nightmares. I'm gonna have to sleep with the bedroom light on. No little lamp, no night light, no little Halloween lights. Like the whole light is gonna have to be on the bedroom light bright so I don't die and so nothing gets me. It looks good. I have high hopes for it. It's directed by David Gordon Green who did Halloween. Let me know if you guys are going to see that too. I also wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who commented on my last Halloween haul. That was the first video that I actually showed my face that I did like on camera. I think for the whole year. I don't even... I think I started doing planner videos back in February, I want to say. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. That's just very unusual for me, but I want to say thanks for everyone commenting and being so nice. You guys were so sweet talking about it. It was good to see my face. So thank you for gassing me up. I appreciate the internet hugs so, so much. 
This is another side note, but I'm really excited for American Horror Story to come back. It's been a thing every year for the past couple of years. I personally think it starts out great. It has so much potential, but then each episode it just kind of goes downhill for me and I don't I don't know if I finished the past few seasons just because no, I have, but I just don't remember them, honestly. I'm gonna watch this one and maybe I'm torturing myself, maybe I'm not, but can anyone relate? As you can see, I'm kind of getting my flow going. I kind of know what I want, what I'm doing, and I'm obsessed with tinsel. It is one of my favorite things, like this little like tinsel-y ribbon. When it comes to crafting or decorating, I always just like to add ribbon somewhere because it of course adds the texture but I feel like it can break up the pattern and it just kind of elevates it. Like this was just a piece of scrap paper and by the time it gets in this planner it's gonna look so so cute. I'm gonna come back to this little scrap piece of paper. With any of the side pockets I also like adding tape or ribbon just to also give it more structure. I mean, just even me doing that, you can see how it changes the look of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and go with this silver glitter washi tape. And then I'm trying to find a ribbon that I can layer on top of this just so I can add something black to it over here because I feel like it blends in a little too much with the planner cover. And I really like how this layering is looking. So I think I'm gonna go with this little ribbon scrap that I got. While I was filming this video, I was so determined not to have to get my glue gun out. Although the glue gun is my weapon of choice, I just, sometimes it's too much, you know? It's like, it's too much commitment. Some days you just feel like a glue stick will do just fine. I mean, come on, look at this layering. It is so cute. So now I'm seeing if I want to add more ribbon because I feel like we got a lot of black going on, which is good, but I just kind of want to continue balancing it out. I'm trying to think what other fall things I've done so far. Oh, I joined a, a fantasy football league. That's what that's called, right? <laughs> yeah, I joined a fantasy, is it fantasy football or football fantasy? Fantasy football league. Mm -hmm. And you guys want to know my team name? It's called the Midnight Society, and my little profile picture is of Ryan Gosling when he was on Are You Afraid of the Dark? Wish me luck on that. Since last month, I've kind of been on a new Are You Afraid of the Dark kick because we watched the newer one as part of our movie nights last month over on my Patreon, and I just, oh, I love Are You Afraid of the Dark. That is... That intro theme song, oh, it just gives me goosebumps every time. What else? Oh, so currently on Patreon, we started a new book club called The Bookish Coven. We're almost done with our first book. Um, so far, we are just going to be doing it as a seasonal book club. So it's now until like the end of the year. Kind of get a feel and see what people think if they want to continue it. I just didn't want to overwhelm anyone because I know I've always wanted to join a book club, but knowing that it's like every month, the whole year just was a little too much for me with my mental, my my brain space not being a lot right now. So far, everyone's loving it. You guys can check out my Patreon. We'll be starting book two soon. We haven't voted on it. I just started asking for submissions for that. We'll be voting on that soon. So if you want a, it's like a low-key, chill, non-committal book club. And that's like my favorite kind. And just a little BTS. So we're currently reading Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I want to say, see, I have a brain fart thinking of the author's name, but my brain, I just don't know what the heck is going on with my brain. But sometimes I can read a book Sometimes I have to listen to it in audio form, but you guys are going to get a kick out of this. So I ended up buying the paperback book, but then it just sat there for days. And so then I was like, let me listen to the audio version. So I got the audio version and sometimes it's hard for me to focus. Like I've been listening to it in the morning time when I'm home by myself and I'm starting my day. I can focus on that for a little bit, but then my thoughts just kind of start flowing. And then there's like, you know, the normal intrusive thoughts, but 
my brain just circulates like a tornado with all these thoughts. Meanwhile, I'm listening to the audio version and then I'm like, what the hell did I just listen to? I don't even know what happened. So I try to listen to it a few times again and I'm like, Sam, focus. You can focus. But then you know, an hour passes by and I'm like, what's happening here? I also tried to read the book. I was like, let me read it. Maybe my brain can soak it up a little bit easier. And no, it didn't. I'm not joking with you. The other night I was in bed listening to the audio while reading along in the paperback. Like I felt like such a dummy because my brain just was not retaining any information. I wish I could take my brain out of my head and kind of like maybe shake it or <laughs> use a cheese grater and just like and just get in there it's almost like when you peel an apple you know how it starts to turn brown and then you can kind of peel another layer and it's fresh again I kind of wish I could do that to my brain because it's just so hard for me to focus it's ho so hard for me to do a simple task it's hard for me to retain information it's hard to for me to make an, um, a decision. It's hard for me to talk. Hopefully, I don't know, hopefully my brain calms down soon, but I'm going to do this little shaker pocket. I always change the paper in it and then also the different type of sequins that's in here, like the little confetti. This one is like a Halloween one. I'm just going to go ahead and push back in my three ring binder that has all of my months. Kind of clean this up a little bit. And I think... I'm happy with it. The tabs are fitting in well. Just going to place my little ribbon markers in here. I also have a September monthly layout video coming, so stay tuned for that. Let me know what you guys think of my new autumn planner. I'm really happy with it. If you guys want some Halloween happy sticker packs, you can check out my Etsy. I'll link that down below. You can check out my Patreon. And oh, also I forgot. I now have channel memberships available. So if you want to support the channel, sign up to be a member. That would be so amazing. I don't think I have anyone that has signed up yet. I haven't really shared it a lot, but yeah, become a member if you want to support the channel. That would mean so much to me. I hope you guys are all doing well. I love you. I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.